Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Valerie. In this channel, I talk about my immigration experience. I'm originally from the Philippines and moved here in the United States of America in 2020. I am now a US citizen and a Filipino citizen. So today, I'm going to talk about the dual citizenship requirements. So um, I had a previous video talking about my whole experience um, getting my dual citizenship. So um, if you haven't watched that yet, go ahead and watch it. I'm going to link it up here and also down below. Let's get started. All right, so um, I have right here in my hand um, the list of um, or the, the checklist for dual citizenship. So um, in my previous video, I told you guys that I went to Washington DC to get my dual citizenship. So the first thing you need to do, of course, is to make an appointment. So I, so I had my US citizenship April of this year. So in order to start your dual citizenship process, you have to have your um, United States passport. So I got my citizenship in April and then I applied for my passport right away after I got my naturalization certificate because you have to have your naturalization certificate in order to get a or to start an application for a passport. So um, I believe I received my passport. Um, when was it? I think August. I received my passport in August of this year. And so after that, I started looking up the dual citizenship and um, checklist or requirements and um, I looked up the time and actually it there's not a whole lot of um, open appoint uh, open schedule um, for me to put in an appointment so I, I checked every day and finally it came up the closest date at that time was October 31st. So that's what I set up my appointment. It was a Halloween. <laughs> it was um, it was fine, you know, we actually, the US, not US, but Philippine Embassy actually got all the Halloween decorations. So that was fun. So I got my appointment scheduled October 31st, 2024 at 9.55 a.m. And then the next one here is you have to complete a dual citizenship form. So you can actually, so what I did before I even made an appointment is already print out my application form. I already um, filled it out and everything. I left the um, back part, which is the signature um, blank until my appointment date um, because I just want to make sure that I'm doing it correctly, especially it says on there like, you know, like sworn in or sworn by or something like that. Um, so I just wanna make sure that I'm doing it right. So I left it blank until I went to my appointment and they actually just asked me to sign it and date it at that time. So after that, you, these are the requirements. So your application form. Next is your uh, PSA birth certificate issued by the PSA. So if you ha if you don't have a PSA, make sure that you get your PSA copy first and then make a photocopy of that as well. So it says on here original and one photocopy of the birth certificate. And then next is original and one photocopy of your Philippine passport and your foreign passport, which is your US passport if you're here in the US. And then or if you just um, if you just got your U.S. citizenship, next is your original and one photocopy of your marriage certificate, um, or it says or decree of divorce if divorce or death certificate and stuff like that. Um, next is original and one photocopy of your naturalization certificate issued by the foreign government. In that case, that's the United States, and then next is four colored two by two photos taken within six months with white background. And then um, of course you wanna bring your processing fee. So uh, processing fee is $50. And um, it's saying on here that only payable in cash, credit or money order to the embassy of the Philippines. Um, so those are the requirements for your dual citizenship. Note, this is for your dual citizenship, okay? I have other requirements that actually did not know until I was there. <laughs> 
Okay, so no, this is just for dual citizenship. Um, next is additional requirements for derivative citizenship, uh, citizenship of minors or children, if you have children. So I'm just gonna cover this. I do not have children. So I'm just gonna kind of like let you know if you have children and you wanna do the dual citizenship. So make sure that you do this. So three colored two by two photos, their birth certificate, certificate of naturalization or citizenship, Philippine and foreign passport and then there's a processing fee a separate one for each minor and it's $25 so for adults it's $50 for minors is $25 fee for your dual citizenship okay so on here um, it didn't really say Like it didn't really say anything about um, a, a passport. So it says on, there's a note on here. Those with a confirmed dual citizenship appointment and wish to apply for a Philippine passport need not to secure a separate a, a passport appointment. Your passport application will be processed after your oath taking ceremony, provided that the documentary requirements are met. So it, so for some reason I didn't, I didn't even, put it together um, so when you got your US citizenship your Filipino citizenship dropped so you're no longer a Filipino citizen and it means that your passport is now invalid so you can't use your passport anymore so for some reason I was still thinking oh yeah I my passport is not expired but I'm, I wasn't I wasn't a Filipino citizen anymore at that time. So, so basically, you're going to have to get a new passport. Okay, so they're going to get rid of your old passport. So this is my old passport. They're going to get rid of your old passport and they're going to punch a hole on it. So it's not, it's not um, valid anymore, but they're going to give it back to you. So then... Another step on that is if you want to go ahead and just get your passport as well, you can go ahead and do that. But for me, I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't know about this. So what you need to do for your passport, this is the requirements for the passport, okay? So you can do your dual citizenship and your passport at the same day. So first of all, you're going to have to get a domestic um, priority mail envelope okay so you're gonna go to your nearest ups uh, sorry usps or a postal post office um for for me i didn't do it because i didn't know that i was supposed to do that so i waited until i, I was in dc so i got it but i still got it so beforehand if you you know if you want to go ahead and come prepared so go ahead and get your domestic um, envelope priority domestic envelope and then um, they're going to put the stamps on there. I'm going to put a picture on here um, to show you how you're supposed to put your stamps on your envelope because when I got mine, for some reason, they put the international stamps and not the domestic stamps. And I asked the guy at the Philippine embassy, he said it, it would, it, it's fine, it will work. So um, yeah, so uh, put that on there and um, after that, you want to bring as well, I believe, your extra copy or photocopy of your Philippine passport and your U.S. passport. So to be safe, I would say to whatever it says on the dual citizenship checklist on the originals, make sure that you photocopy those at least three times. So those are your um, original birth certificate, your Philippine passport and your foreign passport, which is your U.S. passport, your marriage certificate, your um, divorce certificate, death certificate, if those are one of the things that you have, and then also your naturalization certificate. So those documents, photocopy them three times, at least three times, because when I went for mine, I had to go to the UPS to get it photocopy again. Okay, so make sure you do that. And then on here on the, um, okay, so those are the requirements for the Philippine passport. And also you're gonna be paying a fee as well for your passport, which is $60. Okay, so it's a separate fee from your dual citizenship and you're also gonna get a separate application form. 
okay? I don't know if the form is available online, but it should be available at the Philippine Embassy. So if you are there and you have your dual citizenship form ready to go, but you don't have your um, passport application form, you can request that and go ahead and fill it out so you can get both of them together at the same time. You, you're not going to get your passport right away, but um, I think it's going to be about six to eight weeks before you can get your, your Philippine passport. So those are the requirements that you need for your dual citizenship. You have to think that it's separate, okay? Dual citizenship and your passport application. So those are two different process. But since you're there, you can just get them both done at the same day. Okay, so... <clears throat> Also, talking about the, the photos for the passport. So it says on here, uh, sorry, for the photos for the dual citizenship, it says to bring four copies, colored copies of the two by two photos, but they only took two. So the, another thing that I forgot, so the thing that I am not quite sure about, if you guys know about this, comment that down below, um, is that if you bring extra photos, would it be possible to just provide that as your photo for your passport instead of having the picture taken? taken? And would that reduce the fee for your passport fee? So that I do not know. And so if you guys know anything about this, comment down below so at least we can share to everyone if this is even an option. Because um, I was thinking the reason why they ask for four colored two by two photos is that maybe they're gonna use the other two um, for the passport, but they only ask two, two by two photos from me. So um, yeah, so that's, all that I can think of so um, and of course um, I, I told you guys um, on my previous video that when you make sure that you put in the address as 1617 Massachusetts Avenue if you're going to Washington DC because if you just look up um, Philippine Embassy it's gonna bring you to the other Philippine Embassy which is just across the street it's a white building but if you are doing the citizenship dual citizenship process you're gonna actually have to go to the other building and it's the 1617 and it's a brick building yeah and also it says on your um, a like confirmation appointment that there are no printing uh, ph photocopying services on site. So that's why I suggest that you make copies before you leave. And, um, <clears throat> and then, oh, it says on here, if you would like to apply for a passport on the same day, bring a USPS priority mail flat rate stamped envelope. Okay, so it says on here, but of course for me, I didn't, I didn't know that my passport was already invalid. So that was, that was the confusing part. Okay, so yeah, it does say on the confirmation that you have to bring the USPS priority mail flat rate envelope if you are applying for a passport. So, yep, so that's all. Um, that's all for today. If you guys have any questions or if you if you guys have anything to add, if I missed something, make sure to comment that down below to share with the rest of the crew. So um, thank you all so much and I will see you next time. Bye.